Good afternoon from Jonesboro, Arkansas. September 29th, 2022. We've had this robot whose name I'm not going to mention. A-S-T-R-O. In case you have one, I don't want to wake it up. Uh, from Amazon. We've had it four days now. Two full days. Tuesday and Wednesday. Partial days, Monday and today, Thursday. And one thing it does, people ask me, what does it do? And those that are real brazen just come right out and say, it don't look like anything but a big piece of junk to me. You know, I've had uh, that comment too. And I told them, I said, well, thankfully, your, uh, your opinion don't mean a damn thing to me. But anyway, what uh, it's, it has a few functions. Some people call it uh, A-L-E-X-A. I don't want to say that either. Your dumb machine on wheels. But it's more than that. It does security patrols around the house. And if you have the Ring Pro Security, I forget the exact name, but uh, the Ring Pro Security, which is $200 a year, which I think is a bargain, then it will guard your house and work with your security system if you have one. If you have the Ring Security uh, System with the door sensors, window sensors, and all that, then this robot works with it. Or if you don't have it, it'll work on its own. But it patrols your house when you're gone, looking for intruders. Now, it thinks our 125 pound German Shepherd is an intruder, <laughs> but it's not. And there's an update coming, so it'll recognize it's a pet. And if it hears glass breakage, it'll it's supposed to go to that area and investigate. Here's the door open, it's supposed to go to that area and investigate. Now, this is when you're away and you have it in away mode. And it also patrols the house and does a recording in every room. And it, you can set that up to do it every hour, every two hours, every 12 hours, every 24 hours. I have it set up for every two hours. And I'm not sure it's actually necessary, but why not? So anyway, this is what it looks like when it does a patrol of your house. That's what I wanted to talk about. That's what I wanted to show today. So I have this set up to patrol the house once every two hours. And this is what it does. It goes from room to room and records a, uh, a little bit. And it does some of the rooms twice. Of course, I have this set up, even though it's open, one is living room and one is dining room. Eventually, I'm going to set that up as the foyer. In case I want it to go there, maybe. And this only lasts a couple of minutes. It's just to show just what it does. Of course, these are all separate videos. I'm the one that put them together. You probably figured that out on your own. You know, look at this small kitchen and the, and the washer and dryer in the kitchen. That's what they did in 1972. They put washers and dryers in the kitchen, which is really stupid. This house is 24, 2,500 square feet. And look at that little kitchen. You know, that would not happen today. If I had 24, 450 or so square foot feet to do what I wanted to with me and my wife the kitchen would be a big big part of it <laughs> but anyway here's our den there used to be a skylight in the middle there and it started leaking so the previous owner had it covered up our game room there's a step there it will not go into the game room but there it is. Again, look right here. See that step off? It will not go down the ramp. And if it gets too close to the step, it says step detect it and backs off. So it will not go into the game room. But I set this area up and called it game room to make sure it would at least photo video a little bit of it while we're gone. So behind the couch in this room is called Game Room on the map that it created. That's what I named it. That way to make sure it would go there and patrol because it patrols every room. So you can do that. If you have little areas in the house you want patrol that's actually part of a room, you can just separate it and pretend like it's a different room to make sure it goes to that spot. And there on my wall is my batleth. I think it's cool. And the first time it did this when we were away, it skipped one of the bedrooms. I'm glad to see it got all three bedrooms this time. So maybe that was just a fluke. But as you see, it has pretty decent night vision. Good enough. Here's the bedroom it missed the first time. It's good enough night vision to see. I'm not about to turn the lights on when I leave just to have better 
you know, quality video. The hallway, it's also considered a room. It does not go in the bathrooms. I saw no need in that, and I didn't set them up as rooms. But anyway, that's what it does with each room of the house. Just so you would, just so you know, in case you are thinking about getting one, or if you're just curious, if you get one, be warned. People will mock you and make fun of you. Some to your face and some behind your back. And if they're mocking you on Facebook, they're typing it out with the phone that surely cost as much as this robot or more. Because people decide what's a waste of money and what is not a waste of money. And if you disagree with them, then you are a moron. You are an idiot. You are irresponsible. If they think a $1,200 cell phone is okay, then they will still mock a $1,000 robot. It's just the way people are. People who mock the fact that you spent $1,000 on a security robot. And yeah, I think it is a little overpriced. Amazon thinks they're going to sell for $1,500. I can't believe they're going to. But it doesn't matter. My wife loves it and I like it. And we spent almost that on our last cell phones. So I don't want to hear it. Unless you're typing your comments on a $400 cell phone, then that's fine. You can, you can tell me all about it if you want to. All right, that's about it. Just be warned. If you get one, then people are going to be uh, talking about how ignorant you are behind your back or to your face. <laughs> Not everyone, of course. Some people mind their own business or keep it to themselves. Plus, some people think it's really cool, and some people are like wow i like that i like that but there's not very many people that's going to pay a thousand dollars for this and there's certainly not very many that's going to pay 1500 in my opinion i could be wrong and over time the price will drop the more you produce of something the cheaper it gets to produce it later generations will cost less all right that's about all i appreciate y'all watching comment tell me how stupid i am I don't care. Your opinion doesn't really matter to me. I don't need your approval or tell me how brilliant I am. Now, I do need that. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Y'all let me know what you think about it. Okay. What would you pay for this? What would you pay for it? Possibly zero. Put that in the comments. 1500 Put that in the comments. I'm thinking the perfect price on this would be five to six hundred dollars. I think they'd sell a lot at that price, but perhaps they would lose too much money to do that. It may cost who knows what it costs to build it. Alright, that's about all. Thank y'all. Thanks y'all. Bye.